Hi everybody, it's Carla, and I wanted to um, see if you want to join me. I'm going to sit here and do something I've been wanting to do for a while, and it's just to test out some of my decoupage papers. Um, I have so many patterns um, and so many themes of decoupage paper and napkins and sometimes when it's time to actually sit down and start creating I, I don't know what direction to go i really like the vintage kind of shabby chic theme uh, i like script and i like music notes and um, a lot of you know i love vintage floral prints and i have all of that but sometimes it's just like I think I have too much to choose from as far as what direction I might go. So, um, I printed off some things, and as far as my crafting lately, I've been wanting to do um, ephemera and kind of have it ready for um, putting in my journals. And I've been doing paper journals a lot over the holiday. I'm still kind of in the paper journal mode. But the things I thought I might try, let me get rid of this. The things I thought I might try um, decoupaging is I have this pretty pink paper bag, which would lend itself to a lot of my pretty shabby chic pink stuff. And then I have this uh, envelope that I created um, with tea dyed paper. And a little bit of damask paper. I'm going to try sample some uh, things on this, which is just the cover page in this beautiful book I found. It's called uh, Victoria, the Heart of England. It's a really pretty book. It's got lots of beautiful garden images and food and scenes around England. But, so you can see this is the inside jacket image. I think those are blossoms of some sort. But I just took one of them out and I'm going to try decoupaging on top of that. So that's that one. And what else do I have? For now, I think I'll just start with those. So I had started ordering a lot of um, different packets of decoupage paper. And these are from... Um, craft consortium and I've shown these in different hauls and they've just kind of been sitting idly for these by I bought some from this maker I'm not sure who this one is and then there's this one so I've got quite a few to choose from so and then there's also um, this beautiful tissue paper that was gifted to me from uh, Olivia Hernandez. Hi Olivia, if you're watching this is beautiful. I'm going to try it out today. And then I've had this beautiful crepe paper. Um, I got this at a thrift store brand new many a while ago by Heidi Swap. And there's different uh, patterns of crepe paper. I'm wondering what it says. It says color these crepe paper ribbons with glimmer mist and other tattered angel paint mediums so it's just in a, it, these are black and white and they're suggesting you color them I might just try them out as black and white on top of something colored so I don't know how enthused you might be to see me kind of sample out some of these but um, you reach over here I, um, so like I, I save bits of uh, napkins and pieces that I've already always said I'm not going to throw that away. I can still use it and so I've, either, I've decided if I'm not going to use these I do need to go ahead and get rid of them. So before I make that take the leap I'm going to um, do some sample decoupage and I'm just going to leave the camera run and chat with you and when you're bored you can always just click me off and go on to other things.
I have um, some doilies I want to try to incorporate into it. I even have some washi tape I might try to blend in. So this is just me working on a project that's in my head. I'm trying to reach something here. Sorry. These are those strips of crepe paper. Um, but anyway, I've, I constantly say I want to sit down and just play with some decoupage ideas and I never do it. So now is the time. Some people are getting really cold winter weather where I'm from up in Wisconsin, but we have had absolutely delightful weather here. Um, so it's kind of hard to stay inside. I I need to get out and get some exercise but and some fresh air. But um, I didn't go out today. I'll have to make sure I do tomorrow. Because this is my kind of weather. Getting out in the summer is not my cup of tea. Okay, so there's this book paper. I'll just start with this one. Let me move these out pieces. And I just, what I did was I put some Mod Podge in a dish. And I'm just going to... Do I have water? Yeah, I've got water. I think I'm going to thin it down just a teeny bit because it's been sitting in the jar a while. I haven't Mod Podged in a long time, but it's one of my favorite things to do. I love watching other people Mod Podge and get ideas. Um, so that's what I'm going to do here for a little bit. The only regret is that you guys can't participate vocally and say, how about try this or try that? Now this is a piece of tissue paper from a roll I had of Tim Holtz tissue paper. And I have this big huge roll so I like to share it in Happy Mail. And I've shared it a bit but I've never used it myself so I thought it's time for me to try this. And what I'm going to do is leave whatever's hanging off the edge. I'll just trim that off later. So this is a really pretty, uh, I don't know where the bigger piece just went. I just tore it. Oh, here it is. So it's got black and white script and book page and embellishments on it. So I'm going to put some there and I think... I want to put some, I really want to put it over here. And who was that that gave you that tip? It was either Julie DaCosta or Julie Derry, hello ladies, that said, actually I think they've told me too, you take a paintbrush, I mean I really take your, your tips everybody, so bring them on. Um, and dampen the area that you want to tear out and it'll tear out nicely without having the rip go in a direction you don't want it to go does that make sense i'm supposed to be a teacher but i'm not sure i explained that very well <laughs> but um anyway whenever i'm doing a video every now and then people will share their different tips with me and i love that um it's very helpful i also have some Prima, this one's not, this one's one of the craft consortiums, and I kind of like that, I'm going to do some of that, so let's try the paintbrush idea, with this kind of tacky paintbrush here, now this is not exactly napkin or tissue paper, so it might not tear as well along the wet line as Maybe it will. I was going to say it might not as well as a napkin, but it's tearing just fine. Great. Yep, there we go. That's exactly the way I wanted it to tear. And then I'm going to try to get this in frame better for you. So you won't see any of this pretty 
faint uh, background paper but I think the tone of the background paper is going to really help um, I don't like that straight edge I'm just going to randomly tear it I like the torn edge a little better than the straight edge if this was going to go on the edge of the paper I guess that would be okay but so I'm kind of in between crafting and making dinner. I might pause and go do step two on my dinner. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. But it won't really affect my video. You guys won't know I was gone. But I won't do it just yet. I like that. I also have a little container of gesso, so if any of it gets too vibrant for me, I'll just tone it down a little with some gesso. What else? So I have the black, the white, the gray. I don't know why, but I always feel like if I use one piece in one area, I should put a little piece in another area as well. So I will do that which I think would look nice it's right here we do that and then after I get my little sample what I should which I call them palettes sample sheets created I can then cut them into envelopes or tags for ephemera on the areas that I like so this is really nice this is a uh, what brand is this it's just called deco mache first edition who knows how long ago I got this oh I bought this in Milwaukee at Ben Franklin they still have a Ben Franklin which is like a old five and dime if you don't know we used to shop at Ben Franklin all the time. Um, okay, so I've got two different options on there. This might be pretty. This is the tissue paper from Olivia. I also am curious if it's translucent enough for the butterfly to show through. Let's see. I think that's one of the things I like about decoupage is when the tissue paper and the napkin is thin enough, you can see some of it underneath. So, yep, I'm going to be able to see the butterfly wing through there, which is cool. Now, if I, once I really get myself in a groove, I'm hoping to decoupage an old uh, dresser table that I have with some beautiful rose napkins. Hmm, I like that. I also, let's see, I think I should keep going with another little piece of this. So are any of you off to a crafty start in the new year? I just have to. I feel like as borderline getting not depressed per se. I don't use that word lightly because it's a serious situation for many. But just not looking forward to the new year because it's more of the same right now. Um, so I just thought, well, I'm going to remedy that and keep myself busy with crafting. Um, let's see, what else? Do I dare add another pattern? It seems to work well with this, so I think I, think I will. 
just going to wet this a little bit as my friends taught me and then tear it like so it's about six o'clock in the evening here we've gotten in a really bad habit of eating dinner late because my son is doing school remotely this week and over Christmas break and everybody's been sleeping in. I don't sleep in. I don't like to sleep in. I feel like I lost the day, but I will catch a nap <laughs> sometimes if I'm tired, which nobody in my family ever takes a nap. I wish they would, but they stay up so late. I can't stay up late anymore. I used to be somewhat of a night owl, especially when I was first married and we would, um, my husband would go to my brothers and they'd play cards really late and I'd stay up and do house projects like painting and wallpapering and redecorating and I loved it to have the quiet of the night or watching something and just doing my own thing. My husband would come home and go, you're still up? And I'm like, yep. <laughs> but not anymore I'm a sleepy head okay so I have a little open space there probably should have just put more of that green there yeah I don't know this is why I get kind of perplexed about decoupage because I mean I kind of like it but and then they say that's all that matters but it's all said and done it'll probably be to my liking. Sometimes it's hard to get there. It's such a forgiving little thing though. I mean, you really can go all different ways with decoupage. My mom, I think this used to be like a thing. Because they would take beautiful pictures from magazines and decoupage on pieces of wood or on lamp shades as crafty things. Well, I shouldn't say my mom. She didn't really do crafts. She appreciated it, though. Okay, so how's that? That's it's a little random in that this isn't repeated anywhere. So I may... I think I will just put a little bit off on the edge here, down a little lower, hope you can see that okay. I have a feeling my camera moved, I hope it didn't, let's see, is that better, it's a little better, I've got a notification, let me close that, okay, put a little more glue. I like painting with the glue too. Un unwrap that. It does get dark so early. But we're already on the other side of the days getting shorter. Before we know it, it'll be light again around 7 o'clock. Time goes so fast. Okay, so that's there, and I like it. I'm glad I did that. So now I have the piece decoupaged on the book paper. Kind of pretty. I don't know if you can see that. And it does have a few wrinkles. I think decoupage just has wrinkles sometimes. And if you're going for the shabby kind of look, it's all right anyway. I think I'm going to put a little more of, where is it, a little more of this one up here. I'm going to do the paintbrush trick. I'm going to put a little more up there. 
maybe not that long. A little bit. Sh I think I want to cut this piece. Kind of want a, s a bit of a straight edge at the top of the page. Oh! One second. Sorry about that. <laughs> My own phone scared me because it was vibrating. Alright, I'm going to stick this piece across to here. I hear my family in the kitchen. Wouldn't it be wonderful if they're in there cooking and finishing dinner for me? <laughs> That's not necessarily wishful thinking. They, they do sweet things every now and then. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry and get it in frame to show you. That's the Tim Holtz and all the other ones mixed in. And I also think it'd be fun if I use some of my die cuts and embellishments on it. But that probably should come after I create whatever I'm going to make out of this. A tag or envelopes or whatever. So I did one collage of this one. And then I'm going to do a second one. I think on a doily. But anyway, I hope you'll come and craft with me. I'm just going to do a series of probably three different decoupage samples, um, collage samples. So I'll end it on this one and I'll show you what I made out of it. But I'll come back and do another sample soon. Okay, see you in a little bit. Okay, so I went ahead and created an envelope with the decoupage um, collaged sheet that I made. I just cut these little strings off. So I took it over to my sewing machine real quick and stitched it up. And um, now I have an ephemera envelope. Just did a bunch of zigzag stitching. And that's the back. So one sample piece down and several more to go. I think I have these um, somewhere over here. I have little Velcro pop dots. wonder where I put that. I'll find those and put one on for the next video. So I think what I'm just going to do is do more collage sheets. And if you'd like to craft with me, I'll be back with another video soon. And we'll keep collaging until I get it down to a, a science that works for me. So thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye-bye.